pen lovers, I have another pretty quick pin mod video for you today. The mods that I show in this video are all inspired by questions that customers asked me about modifying the pens. So I really appreciate your questions on if certain refills will work in certain pens. As long as I have that pen and I have that refill, I can try to figure that out for you. It gets harder for me when you ask questions about refills and pens I don't have. So I'm less likely to be able to help you on, on those. When it comes to like intermingling stuff that we have on TokyoPenShop.com, I really love trying this stuff out for you guys. First, I want to talk to you about a really cool mod for the Slicky and I Plus series. So you guys may or may not know the Slicky Custom Multi um, is available in bodies that look like this. It's a pretty fine profile. This is the original profile of the Slicky Multi. It holds three units in it. It does come in other colors. These are kind of my current favorite ones. They're all sort of like milky colors. I like those. Now, they use the same inserts as the I+. Plus. So here is one of the regular I+, Plus that holds five. And I have a little um, macaroon topper thing on it. I actually showed this on Instagram and some people were like, oh, that's very cute. Where did you get it? Okay, two things. I got it from an Etsy seller. It was like... It took forever to ship. I didn't realize it was this. It was going to be like this super cheapy like foam. I actually thought it was going to be clay. So I don't really have a source for these that I can recommend, unfortunately. Um, and this one is also an I plus, but it is of course. When you guys know, I love this topper. I talk about this all the time. <laughs> This one is part of the Romantic series that comes in three colors and five colors. Anyway, so I'm talking about this Pentel Slicky and I Plus series right now. So if you look at a regular Slicky refill, they have these little toppers on the top. Okay. Excuse me, I had put it into the mod already. Okay, so they have these little, sorry, toppers on the top. You're actually, so you're, to do this mod, you're going to need to have purchased at some point one of these slicky, I'm sorry about the shadow, you guys. You're going to have to have purchased at some point one of the slicky refills. So maybe you have some old slicky refills that you've used up. Go ahead and save this topper at the top. So you're gonna pull it out, and actually, I use my teeth because it's very, very hard to pull out with your fingers. Um, you just wanna make sure not to break it on the way out. So here it is, pulled out. Okay, and then um, the exciting mod is that we're gonna use the Uni Style Fit Refills. So you can see that they're the same size without that little topper, which is why it works so well. A lot of people like myself, our favorite custom multi insert is the uni style fit. So it's really good to know this works. So then you're just gonna shove the slicky topper in there. And then you're gonna pop this then as though it was a slicky refill all along. So it grabs in there, no problem. And then you have it, it works just like the others. Like that. Am I in the camera? There we go. So there's your regular one. There's your uni style fit one. Regular one, uni style fit one. It works just as though you had the slicky in there the whole time. So if you really like those uni style fit inks and tips, then I think you'd really like this mod. Moving on, another exciting mod I wanted to talk about involves this new Pentel Kidati, and I think I've talked about this previous time. Sometimes I share new things to the store with you guys. It comes in a gold mauve and a cherry blossom pink. So the really cool thing is, it comes standard with a, a 0.7 gel ink, which is actually quite nice in itself. But if you like the finer gel ink tips or you just like some other colors, what I recommend doing 
is. Replacing it with, let me show you all the different ones that will work. Any of your Sarasa clip will work. And I'll take out one to show you that. See, works just as though it belongs in there. And um, don't want to lose my spring. So the Sarasa clips will work the same, just any of those that you like. The inner gel clip tops will work, which is very cool. And it makes a lot of sense because they're both Pentel, right? And let me just show you the inner gel work working. Oh yeah, this one screws up from the top. Sorry about that. I'm gonna put this back in there before I get confused about what came out where. Okay. Hope I'm not going too fast. I don't wanna take, sometimes my videos are way too long. Okay, so then there's your inner gel, just like it belongs in there. and any of your Signo click top. So this is like an American market Signo click top, the 207. This is the Uniball Blacks, love those. I have a whole video on those actually, and this is something that I don't sell. Like I said, it is the American market. And this is just an RT1. So any of your, your Uniball click tops, your RT, your RT1, your 207s, you get the idea. Those will work in here, which is a very cool just like it always belonged there. The problem you're gonna have is deciding what to fill with it because you have so many awesome choices for this. It's actually pretty cool. I got really great advice from Kelly, who watches these videos, I think. Normally she does. She's in one, uh, um, a Facebook forum that I'm in she, I think she was actually giving the advice to someone else, but I thought that is a really good way of looking at it. So someone was asking about, actually I think it was Corey, hi Corey, <laughs> was asking about if certain refill would work in this pen. And Kelly said, start with your most you know, basic refills that most of us have, like a Uniball clip top, the inner gel, and work from there. I would often approach this in a very different way, which was much more time consuming, which was to look at the refill and see like, oh, did I think I, have I seen another refill or insert that is about that size? No way, just start taking all your basic pens you have, popping those in, and then what happened with this pen is at least half of the stuff I was trying, half of the like standard refills that most of us pen lovers have, we're turning up working. So this one is a, a color jet stream. So this is the pink jet stream ink and this one also works. I remember Corey saying the friction worked for her, but I'm wondering if maybe she was using the American market friction 0.7 which I do not have. I only have the Japanese market friction clip top, which is 0.5, and that one I could not get to work. So if you have the friction, if you have this pen and you have the friction 0.7 from the American market, you might want to try that one too. In any case, you can see there are so many options here to mod your Kirari. It's really exciting. So if you have any more mod questions, please do let me know. I really like learning about these and I really like sharing the mods because if you're anything like me, you like to have the perfect body with the perfect ink. And I know someone will eventually ask, this folder I have here, it's a very cute folder, this is actually in the Target Back to School section. So if you like that, head over there and check them out. Okay, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.